Right, hello everybody, welcome to Trafford Golf Centre. I'm Matt Fryer and today I'm here to help you improve your game. So, one of the big sort of sexy words we hear in golf and the golf swing is lag. And how is lag created in the golf swing? It's something that you know, is a very research topic and in terms of a YouTube video, lots of people are wanting to create it. But firstly, I think we need to understand what lag is and why we need it in the golf swing. So when we do talk about lag, now that is something that's created throughout the golf swing. And generally it's created when we get the transition from backswing into downswing. And what we would see now is something where an angle is created between the lead arm and the golf club shaft. Instead of it coming down and it being flat like this in transition, it's created here and we see this angle appearing. Now, we will also help to create it on the way back by the use of our wrists with a hinging motion. And from there, in that transition from back, from backswing down into downswing, we'll see again that this angle is created here. Now, the reason we need some lag in our golf swing is to help us create an angle where we can deliver maximum speed to the golf ball and um, help us get a better strike on the golf ball. If we don't have any lag, what we'll tend to see is something where as we're coming down in the swing now, the club head is catching up or even passing the hands in the down swing. And as it gets towards the bottom and back towards the golf ball, it might bottom out too early. And we also might see that we get some thins or tops because the club head's actually passing the hands as we get into the impact zone. So if we can create a lag and use it correctly, it's gonna give us more club head speed and a better strike on the golf ball. So a really great drill for you guys to try at home to try and create some lag would be what we call the pump drill. And that is where, now I've got a nine iron in my hands and I'd suggest doing this off a tee if you were trying it, but what we're trying to do, we're not making full big swings where we're trying to be, create as much lag as possible. All we're going to do is make some half swings and see that we get to this L position and now I've got this angle created between my lead hand and my um, golf club shaft. Then from there, what I'm going to do is try and come back down to impact where my hands are now level with the centre of my chest and maintain this angle. Normally we'd see someone who doesn't have any lag or loses it at this point now, the club head would already be at the ball and there'd be no angle maintained. So I'd make my backswing to create the lag. And then I'm going to have a couple of pumps and see that I can start to keep this angle in. And then from there, I'd have a couple where I swing through and try and then create the same angle in my finish position. Almost like the L to L swing drill. But here we're just adding in a bit of a pumping feeling to enable us to maintain the angle and actually create some lag into our downswing that we can use into impact and hit some better shots. Once you're comfortable with creating this pump drill and the feeling of maintaining the lag there and holding that angle into where your hands are level with the chest, what we're gonna do is try and just hit some three quarter shots now, feeling the same thing. So like I say, only a nine iron for me here, and I'll go at probably 60% my normal swing speed. Try and create some on the way back, hold it into impact with my pump drill, and then hit. And it might be the case that you want to have a couple of rehearsals, like so, then set back up quickly and hit one. Nice crisp clean strike there and even for a three quarter nine nine that's flown about 120 yards so by using the lag correctly and using it at the right time I've managed to create a crisp strike and gain some real good distance on that one. So let's just run through that one again for you so we're looking to create something where there is an angle between the lead forearm and the golf club shaft now. And as we're coming down and holding our hands to the middle of our chest, we still maintain that angle. What we don't want to see is something where I'm losing it too early from that position. Having creating it, I don't want to lose it all down into impact. I want to hold on to it and then it's spent at the last minute. So I get my hands to level with my chest and then lose it. So 
one more. I'm going to have two pumps to rehearse and then I'm going to quickly hit one after that. So create it, pump, pump. Ooh, a little bit heavy on that one there. Just lost it a little bit early and didn't quite keep the lag on that one. Let's see if we can nail it one more time. It's a good setup. There, pump it, pump it. Much better. Really held that lag into the impact zone. Wow, it's gone far. And really seen a nice long shot there. So guys, if you are looking to create lag in your golf swing, and generally I'd see that you want to be doing this more with your irons opposed to your driver, give it a try with, like I say, a nine iron off a tee is gonna help you to get a better strike and a bit of confidence to start off with it. Let's see if you can do that pump drill. Create an angle, hold it down to where your hands are level with your chest and you're still seeing the angle between the shaft and your lead forearm, and then get into hitting some from there. Guys, I hope that video can help you. If you've enjoyed watching that, give that like button a click for me. Also, if you want any more videos to help improve your golf, remember to click that subscribe button, it's totally free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.